Alright, this is just a, a quick uh, information video on uh, rotoscoping in uh, Adobe After Effects. Um, I'm going for uh, this look here that, that you're seeing. Um, I want I gotta further refine it. I, I have to rotoscope, uh, make sure I get the arms and the, the whole face in there so I can do some effects. Um, this this is something you, you can't green screen this. You have to you have to rotoscope. And the whole clip is 3 minutes and 43 seconds long or 45 seconds long, and it's a pain in the ass. Um, but I uh, finally, after spending hours uh, trying to do this, I, I finally, I think I figured it out, so I was just making a video to uh, to share with uh, you people. Um, I'll open up After Effects and uh, show you show you how I how I figured out how to do this rotoscoping. This is using, this is also using Mocha. Um, I did a little uh, distortion on the mouth. Um, you know, this and that, but I'm just going to go over the rotoscoping, so we'll see you in After Effects. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. Um, now, the, the clip the clip that I'm working with is right here. Um, I tried green screening. Of course, my green screen wasn't the best there. My lighting kind of sucked, but it, it is still green screen out. But I'm trying to break down. I want to have the shirt and the glasses. I want to have them masked out, and then I want the uh, body parts masked out <coughs> rotoscoped as well um <coughs> if you try rotoscoping uh just the entire sequence the three three plus minutes okay um it's it's virtually impossible to do that because anytime you want to make a correction or something you have to wait for all the frames to load um and you know it'll take it'll take hours um <coughs> the way i've done it here is i've taken the clip and duplicated it okay i'm working on 10 second segments uh, my my computer I have a it's an older one it's a it's a, a Core Core Duo Quad 2.5 gigahertz um, it's like the Q93 9300 series something like that I have a 16 gig of RAM um, and working on 10 second clips that gives that's about at 30 frames a second you know it's about 300 frames for 10 seconds which still takes a while to load but it's not as bad as trying to do the whole stinking thing at once um, so like I say you take the clip take your clip and duplicate it. Then when you go into rotoscoping, as you can see here, I've already got uh, one minute, ten seconds done, okay, so far. And still doing that, that portion there, I have, I don't know, two or three hours in that. Um, but I've spent a, the better part of three days, all right, trying to get this crap. And going on the internet, searching there, just nothing. I've seen on Creative Cow, uh, people have inquired about the rotoscoping, and, and some of the people that reply are, are quite uh, jackasses, you know, telling people, well, read the manual, you know, this and that. Well, you know, forums, I thought, for, for asking questions, but uh, in the manual just doesn't doesn't do anything um so anyways here we go so we're gonna start on layer number nine okay so i want this to be from one minute 10 seconds to one minute 20 seconds so we take take our layer nine make sure we got our little roto guy highlighted here we'll double click on the layer to pull up the the rotoscope or to pull up the layer um select our make our brush size a little bigger and just select the area we want all right i'm just gonna do this real quick i'm not gonna do any of the adjustments I just want to show you um, setting it. We got to set our endpoint, which is going to be one minute ten seconds. So shut the hell up. All right, we'll run over there. Oh, oh wait, that's frames. Sorry. Um, we want this to be zero. And we'll run over here just to uh, shit. My brain ain't working very well today. Okay. So that's going to be our endpoint. So we want to set our endpoint there. The out point. We want to get over here to 1 minute 20 seconds. So we'll take you. 1 minute 20 seconds. Okay, set the out point. So now we're just working in this area right here. Um, we got to do our rotoscope thing again here. Get it somewhat set up. Okay, so now the arrows here. To, to drag for, for the... For some reason I can get the back arrows to come out. But anyways, if you can't find your arrows in there, you have to... You, if you zoom in on the timeline... Then you can pick up your, your arrows to where you want to uh, to do your rotoscoping. All right. Um, I should have started that at the proper spot. Anywho, so you go through and you do your rotoscoping for your 10 seconds. Um, oh, wait, one more thing here I forgot to do. We run that down. Once you get that set up, then you, you want to move your layer over to where it belongs. Okay. Zoom in on that so you can get it set up right. Here we are. Move our current time indicator. Make sure that that's set at one, 1 minute 10 seconds, and run your layer over to it. Alright, you can look, when you're on that layer, you can look up in the corner here, and it'll show you, um, you know, where you're at. 
I'm at 1 minute 10 in, 1 minute 20 out. So that this stuff will line up seamlessly together, okay, when you, when you run the clip. But that's all there is to, uh, to rotoscoping um, long clips. Just make sure you duplicate, you break them down to manageable sizes for your computer, um, and have at it. It still takes a hell of a long time, but uh, you can get some awesome results out of it. Also, make sure you save your work frequently, because you don't want to be rotoscoping all this crap out and then have your computer shut down or something, you'll lose all your work. So every time, I'll do a 10 second segment, and then I save it. 10 second segment, then save it. Then I shut the layers off, so that you're not constantly going through. If I turn the layers on, then you have to wait for your, um, your frames to propagate, okay? So you shut the layers off, you just work on the layer that you're working on. Um, and that's all there is to it. Then you'll have a, that little clip I showed you at the beginning that was, I just rendered out the first eight layers. Um, but that clip there took, like I say, I don't know, two or three hours just, just to get that far. So um, that's all there is to rotoscoping. Just duplicate your layers, you get into your, to your um, rotoscope window, zoom in on your timeline so you can get your, your propagating arrows set up, and uh, then you just have at it. So if anybody has any questions, just ask. Alright, that's it. See ya!